Every time I hear Bikram Yoga, I think of one of my favorite comedians, the late John Panette. He had this bit about Bikram. <laughs> he talks about, my friends took me to a Bikram Yoga class. You know where they heat the room to a thousand degrees? They said, take your head and stick it up your butt. Well, I can't do that. They said, then do what you can. I don't know what that meant, so I went home. The Netflix documentary Bikram, Yoga Guru Predator, takes a look at the rise of fame and power in the yoga industry and just even making yoga mainstream and its founder, Bikram Chowdhury. This documentary does a really good job of covering from the beginnings of how Bikram got started to present day. And then as all of the information unfolds and just is more and more coming to light, the intrigue just builds even more. Bikram is a charismatic and encouraging person, but at the same time, he's cruel and humiliating. It's kind of crazy that he was able to build this just international global empire of yoga based on his character and who he was. I mean, really, that's what it was. He is the one that built it. He is the one that people followed. He is the reason why it just grew and grew and grew. Now, amid all of this growing business, I mean, it's just, it, it's crazy at how large the organization became and how much it spread. He faces accusations and allegations of sexual harassment and rape. And they were alleging that he used his power in his circle of influence to overpower these women and just to take advantage of them. I like that there are interviews with both his accusers and supporters. And the documentary does a pretty good job of staying unbiased as it conducts these interviews, as, as it presents the information. Sure, I'm, I'm certain a little bit of bias comes in there, but I didn't feel an overwhelming sense that they are trying to point it this way or this way with the information. That they're just saying, this is who he is, this is what's been said about him, and here is here are the facts and here is the testimony, but here's also facts and testimony from supporters as well. Now, as a couch potato, this was really interesting to watch, especially you see these people bending and contorting their bodies in ways that I'm telling you, I thought they were gonna snap into. And then at some points, he would stand on them as they're bent into some weird pretzel shape. And at that point, I'm like, oh, that just can't be good for your spine. That, I mean, I don't care how flexible you are. Yeesh. So just out of curiosity, I mean, reason enough to watch this thing and you see people doing these yoga poses and it's like, woof. Now, as the documentary goes along, the tension becomes palpable, especially because more and more information is revealed. And I just, I really enjoyed that because it engrossed me even more into it, that it made me just like, ooh, yes, okay, I want to know more. I'm not sure if I like this guy, maybe I do, maybe I don't, but at the same time, wow, I can't believe that if this is true, he's getting away with it. The documentary is a short watch. I mean, it's an hour and maybe 26 minutes. So it's really easy to sit down and pound through, but it's also really interesting and just kind of cool to watch, especially from multiple angles. Like one from a business point of view, just watching this person create a business out of basically nothing and from the ground up and become wildly successful. And then you have the criminal aspect and just the power aspect of that. And somebody who is in power taking advantage of people underneath them who feed on, so he feeds on that power and uses that to his advantage. That's also very interesting. And then just the legal component as well, that they did a really good job of explaining and telling. And like I said, it brings it up to present day. So this is, it, it's a very cool thing. And you just see ramifications for all of the actions going forward, how it affects people just in who followed him, who became teachers of Bikram, who opened up their own yoga, yoga studios, to even just the people that were passive participants as well. I mean, all of that has an impact at some way, shape, or form on their life. And it was enjoyable to watch. There's no sex, nudity, or violence other than through descriptions, but there is a lot of profanity. I give Bikram three and a half out of five couches. So do you do yoga? I did it once. I took a beginner class and it just about killed me. I mean, I respect to anybody that does yoga because that is hardcore. My muscles were shaking that I didn't even know I had muscles in those places. It was weird and it was crazy and I'm not going back. It wasn't enjoyable at all. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris.
This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.